have a sex on the first day. Oh, it's expensive. You want a beautiful <laughs> woman, you need to pay. Ukrainian women better as well. Maybe interesting with both young and old. Guys are tricking girls. You need to be a giving person. <laughs> Hi, my name is Mitro and here is Natalia Koval. We are the love and relationship expert as well as the creator and the founder of Matchmaking Boutique Possible. Hi, the matchmaker is here. So watch this episode and learn more about relationships with a Ukrainian woman. So on today's episode, we are talking about the psychological part of the process of matchmaking and uh, at, at least relationship at all. Yeah. Yes, because matchmaking is two things. Uh, it's meeting people and psychology and having a professional guide you through that in the most effective way. Well, sometimes it's a zigzag and sometimes it's a straight line. But when you have support, you are able to get there faster than on your own. Yeah. So how do you know when the, uh, for example, couples or men and women come to you, Whether how do you know that they are ready for relationships? Well, first of all, I work with single people. Uh, single means legally divorced, legally single or never married. And I ask these questions. So during my first interview, I understand uh, the readiness of a person. Why? Because I have 28 years of matchmaking experience. I have my tricky questions that I ask and I see how the person is answering, man or woman. And I don't work with married people, period. Second thing is as we develop communication and the matchmaking process, there are certain coaching sessions that we have to go through before I start introducing a man. And that makes him more ready. I do the same for women. And for women, we have group coaching sessions and individual coaching sessions, depending on the uh, type of uh, plan and service commitment they do. So I talk to people and I see what are the things triggering them uh, and mm, what are the things that make them happy and whether their expectations are realistic or unrealistic. Mm -hmm. That is all obvious from, from the coaching That's what we've discussed sessions. in our previous episode, so please listen to it. And the man has to be positive and happy overall. That's a very important thing. If man is sarcastic, negative, bitter, if he is in pain from his past relationships, we take him for a little bit of different coaching mm -hmm. sessions and we help him prepare. rework their just reboot yeah, his past reboot because himself. unhappiness isn't sexy. Negative man does not attract a good woman. Mm -hmm. He can only attract similar negative woman. And if you don't want that, <laughs> that's not in his best interest. So uh, then meeting a woman or a man from both sides. So is it always one and only match uh, when just you come in or step in or a man chooses and meets a lot of different girls? And partners? That depends on a man because I try to save his time. Basically, it is in my best interest to match him with the best candidate and just get rid of him. <laughs> ha, ha, ha. But it's not always the case because he may not be ready to recognize her because he needs to see the difference. Yeah. So I see what type of person he is. And then I have multiple candidates for any type of a guy. And ideally, I actually want him to meet different women. Some men are coming and telling me, find me the one. Just I, I just need one girl. Okay, I will. But be ready to meet others if something doesn't go right. So ideally, when uh, you are meeting uh, A, B, C, and D girl, you learn more about culture because all of them are talking about mm -hmm. same things in different perspectives. Aspects. Yeah, and then you understand the culture better and Ukrainian women better as well. So, um, I in in some cases I not only reach out my direct clients, but I go beyond my database and ask my trusted colleagues, national or international, mm -hmm. to provide a match because it's a specific recipe that a guy needs to be happy. For example, we have an Asian 
a man who grew up in America. Now he's doing business with America in Asia. And I found a Ukrainian girl that lives in China. She speaks Chinese. She is taller because he's a <laughs> tall guy. And she's the right age. And she has family values. And she wants to have children. ba ba Yeah. So that's a perfect match. Uh, we will see. <laughs> okay. We have to meet and talk first. <laughs> okay. So uh, that's why I guess that's why uh, that... Um, so that's why the first love is only the first love, not just <laughs> the no. one and only. <laughs> no. You the desire to see the difference so means that... You meet people. You know, in matchmaking, you are giving a unique chance to meet pre-screened, pre-selected individuals with the same relationship goals. And when you meet different people, men or women, because I work with both, my clients are men and women, when we work with both, we are able uh, to give them chances because mm -hmm. it's not about me, okay? It's about it's them. It's your love story. Yeah. I give you a good candidate and it's a chance. Basically, I am selling chances. You see, you were asking, what is a, who is a matchmaker? <laughs> it's a person that sells you chances, right? And it's honest. And then how you take this chance, what you do with it, how you will develop into a happy relationship, what kind of emotional baggage you will take, good or bad, to bring it on a bigger, higher level and longer commitment. That's about you. And if I can boost some of your skills to do that, I will help. <laughs> I guess you are talking that day that I think that a guy has to be so rich to come to you and uh, just... Yeah. He has to be well off. He has to have the money, but that's not enough. I have really rich guys who are still single. We are working with them, but they think that their wealth is their great asset. Mm -hmm. But it's more than your wealth that a woman needs. You know what it is? Your personality and your generosity. So and that's what matters. It's about a giving guy. And a guy can be <clears throat> upper middle class, financially stable. That is what is important. Financially secure. Having a good job. And even if you lose this job, you mm -hmm. have some assets to support you while you file and find another job. But you have to be confident in your social class. That is what I need for my, for my clients, man. And then... You need to be a giving person. So basically understanding that you can afford a trip mm -hmm. to meet her in another country and another trip to even come to Ukraine to meet her mama. Mm -hmm. uh, that you can afford a wedding and you have Avoid that. being a Donald Duck, for example, or Scrooge McDuck. Or <laughs> right, right. Uh, because that's not sexy. And those men who are thinking, what can I do to make her happy? Yes, I'm fun. Yes, I have my sense of humor. That is important. Sense of humor and good positive attitude and a given nature is more important than a really heavy banking account. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And then... And then you make it work because the way you don't have to be, you know, throwing or burning money because a woman will disrespect you. When it comes to money, you need to be spending within your comfort. Mm -hmm. If you are um, thrifty and smart about your money, you can show this to a woman. But try to avoid phrases like, oh, it's expensive. Because she will think it in the worst way possible and she will think that you can't afford it. And then it's... So, it's talking, so you are just working with different classes and uh, there is a thing that uh, asking uh, no more than giving. Is it right? In a way. In a way, you know... Because of asking just a poor guy can just ask for a rich woman or a, a poor woman would like to ask for a rich guy. You know, there is no universal recipe because it's about their mm, connection as individuals. Mm -hmm. And the money matter doesn't have to be the trade coin. It comes by itself, but it shouldn't be the decision maker, but something beyond something that connects you beyond the money that you have or you don't have because besides money we have ourselves 
We have the personality. So when you have a couple or a partners that are just matchmaking uh, in the process, when it comes to talking about money, so what is the right way to do it? There are five key life values that you need to discuss. And the first of them is money. How do you treat money in your life? And I have a long and very profound coaching session about that with the detailly developed questions about money. How, what, kind, what type of a spender you are? Are you having uh, some assets um, aside? Like uh, how do you save money? What do you do with your money? Are you a happy spender? And everything else, right? So talking about just generally about mm-hmm. money and it, should be on a first date, but maybe second, third, you discuss it because it's one of the things that is opening you as an individual. It's it's describing who you are. And uh, somebody who is, um, um, you know, like for, for some women, money is is fun. It's it's fun to have. They it comes easy. It goes easy. They like to surround themselves with beautiful things. They like to wear nice clothes. And man, choose those women who like wearing beautiful clothes. And That's... then he says, "Oh, <laughs> I need to pay a bill." <laughs> oh, it's so expensive. <laughs> oh, you want a beautiful woman? You need to pay. <laughs> it it costs to be yeah. a beautiful woman style, manicures, pedicures, grooming yourself costs more <laughs> than just being naturally. And some men don't pay attention to this. And I have like a guy saying, oh, her lipstick cost 50 bucks. <laughs> I say, yeah, but there are better than that. That are <laughs> like it lasts long. So, oh. And then he realized that it's expensive <laughs> to be a woman. I say, yes, it's actually, it's more expensive to be a woman. But talking about money isn't enough. But you, uh, the Five key life values that I started talking about is money, uh, career and job, children in your family, uh, fitness, health, and healthy lifestyle, and faith. So these key life values uh, are things that you need to talk about, period. Discuss Mm -hmm. what it is for you. And then understand if you are describing these key life values in the same way, if you start the sentence and I finish it, mm-hmm. that's a very good sign of being a happy couple, of becoming a happy couple. And the uh, we prioritize these key life values and we put two on top. And if our two key life values are the same, so we'll scientifically match. proven, so we'll match. that okay. match can live happily so ever after. I may assume that that will help a guy to focus on the right person, Yes. Yes, when you discuss key life values, when you talk about money, when you when you meet mm-hmm. and you spend or not spend money on her, when you say oh, 20 bucks for dinner is expensive, and then she's thinking, Don't where say. am I going? <laughs> right? <laughs> okay, so um just you have chosen the right person, you have talked about the money, about the life uh, whales, I would say call them that way. What about sex? Oh, oh, it matters. And actually, it is an important element of relationships. And this does happen on the first date, of course. And so they, so they are coming and they know that they are, so they won't be allowed to just to have a sex on the first date. Well, listen, I'm not to tell them what <laughs> you to will, do. No, no, no. But... Uh, men and women are coming to a matchmaker understanding that it's not about sex on the first date. And men know that those women that are matched will not be expecting that. As well. And will not give. Because the process, I guess, that's about the knowing the person more, just getting to know a person better. Let me use a smart word. Google it. Sapiosexual. <laughs> Sapiosexual means a person that is building relationship and bonding before physical connection, before sex. Mm -hmm. And Ukrainian women are sapiosexual because they need to trust you. They need to understand that you're not going to... You're not going to to hurt her, hurt her feelings. Because when a woman is having sex with you, she starts loving you. She opens emotionally much deeper And she's confident in you. Yes. She trusts you. 
So you have to earn that trust. And you don't just trust anybody you see on a first date. Yeah, because she will just think that you are using her as... Uh, or she's using just... you. Well, oh. it may happen. <laughs> By the way, if a wo- women manipulate with sex, <laughs> and if the woman is too open and too revealing, something isn't right. So she's trying to play the tricks on so you. So based on your experience, have you had it? Me? Yeah. On a first date? <laughs> Not just you, but from your experience, you're just uh, a lot of your clients, so... I have a funny story about sex on the first date because, uh, as I said, people are coming to a matchmaker because they know it won't happen. <laughs> I don't know what the guy was thinking, so uh, I match him to a possible wife, and uh, they go on a dinner, and I, I guess he was so much in in impressed, liking of her. Impressed. By impressed. Her. Yeah, uh, and then he, he says, okay, let's pass by my apartment. I need to grab some stuff and we will go to a disco because it mm-hmm. was nice uh, May evening and they had so much fun. They really liked each other. So he said, okay, I'll wait here and everything was fine, you know. And there comes a guy. He says, okay, just wait for me here on the sofa. He goes to the shower and he comes wrapped in a towel. <laughs> He's like, What? <laughs> Why do I see it? <laughs> he was so embarrassed. <laughs> But you know, um, if you go uh, to a guy's place in the first evening, that means sex, usually in the Western con- culture. And no matter what you say, guys are tricking girls. It means the same in Ukrainian culture as well. So, but, well, you know. <laughs> <laughs> Probably. <laughs> But a woman, the same woman, will be on a disco interacting with you and she may trick you to having sex and the same woman if she meets you through a matchmaker she will marinate you for a couple of months before she has sex that's the difference in attitude and in the place where you meet okay so talking about the different marinades and so on so we are talking about the age difference as well so is it a problem and what's the ideal gap who yes It's a great question because age different matters. Well, in our uh, matchmaking experience, in the matchmaking boutique possible, we have a uh, we have some couples that are as much as 36 years apart um, in age. The girl is 36 years mm-hmm. younger, as much as the girl being two years older than a guy. Uh, so that's something we work with because age matters. Uh, for some people primarily. And some women do not accept age difference, period. They want to date within their age group. And it means within five, seven, ten top. Well, ten is too big for them. Mm-hmm. And it's their pattern. And I can't change that. Because I, I can only like throw them some examples. That ch- Of successful stories. Yeah. But that's they, so that they are desired. But their they are, ideology. They are adamant about it. Men are coming to match America, especially Western men, hoping to get a way younger wife because they can't get it home, because they believe they can buy a foreign bride that is younger, you know, doesn't work any longer because you have wealth, she has use and uh, you match. You have to have more than wealth. We've already spoken about that. So speaking of ideal age difference, well, ideal, I hate this word because it's individual. Mm-hmm. Why? And I still have couples that are big, have bigger age gap, but they are together because the guy doesn't act his age, he doesn't look his age, and he doesn't behave, and his interests are not as his age, but on the same level with a girl. And he has so many interests, and he is full of ideas, creativity, uh, things that he likes to do that... You don't need to pretend young that he, he is that young. He is young because he is a like a cosmopolitan, very mm-hmm. uh, very well educated, man. And, yeah. well well rounded, well educated mm-hmm. man with lots of interesting hobbies. Yet people of the same age can be boring with each other because she even at, young may be boring. Yes, because she is uh, having a, a very wide interest in lifestyle. And he, he isn't getting that. He is 
very um, introverted, staying in his shell kind of guy. Mm -hmm. And then um, you are either not a match uh, or you need a younger girl because um, you are more to her than, than your peer. So with age difference, I've noticed two things. First thing is, if this is an American guy, his age minus 30, not, not his age minus 10 corresponds to the age of a Ukrainian guy mm -hmm. we deal with because we live faster. We have higher expectations to a man because in Ukraine, a man who is 30 years old is supposed to have a good job or maybe a successful business. He has to have a child a and a happy cars. wife, <laughs> uh, a car and uh, the property, and he has to be married for a couple of years. So he has to achieve a lot by 30. Even now, right? Do you agree? Yeah, yeah that's right. <laughs> And West. that always shifts just in the way that from the younger men, so they just expect what you have said. So another approach besides um, taking away 10 years from the guy's age of his American is the seven year gap. Ideal age difference, scientifically proven by even Waldorf Schule Pedagogy, which is a very um, traditional um, teaching approach. They are saying that when you are seven years younger as a woman, as a man, uh, our uh, relationship goals and relationship expectations coincide because men mature later than women. Women are sooner mature and when a man is seven years older, they are on the same page in terms of creating relations. And that is also true. Uh, for example, I'm six years younger than my husband mm -hmm. and I watch other couples. It's not the only recipe, but it's a good guidance as well. And it gives a chance to guys who are looking for a younger partner because, for example, the guy got busy, so he missed his train. Mm -hmm. And so he wants a younger woman, but then how much young? Um, age difference is a tricky thing because many men want to have a younger partner, but not all of them can sustain this kind of relationships. And the bigger the age gap, the higher are the risks because you belong to different generations. You belong to different worlds. You belong to different type of processing information to start So, with. for example, interesting. So, it may be interesting with both young and old with a big uh, age difference and with small age difference. So, that that depends. It, de it is definitely fun. Yeah. But it's more than age difference. So, if you just want to find a younger girl, forget it. Ukraine is not for you. Because Ukrainian girl do not like men that are much older. Although Ukrainian women also like men who are mature but fun, fun to be with. So it's yes and no. Uh, and if you consider age difference, it has to be mm, like 7, 14 or 21 years difference. But with very mature understanding that you need to make double efforts, the bigger the age difference. But we talk about this with our clients, men and women, and we explain the pros and cons when we deal exactly with a couple. Because on man's end, his family is not going to support it when she's that much younger. And I am nervous <laughs> when a girl is that much younger. But we check with other things. And remember the about top key life values. And then that comes into the equation. Okay. So, so it's a lot to talk about. And we are going to talk about this more on, mm -hmm. on, on some other episodes. So stay with us. Okay. Thank you for this episode. Thank you for this podcast. So yeah, stay tuned. And love, family and happiness are possible when you have the right Cupid on your side and when you make a lot of conscious efforts to realize your wishes and make your plans come true.